Hey, I'm Veronica and I want to share with you something that I learned on my way to achieving an average open rate of 87% for cold email. Proper tech setup is crucial to ensure emails are correctly formatted and delivered to the recipient inbox rather than their spam folder. Let's go through the list of things that should be considered when running cold email campaigns. One, set up a dedicated domain. Create a separate domain to send cold email campaigns to protect the reputation of your primary business domain. Using a dedicated domain ensures that any potential issues with email deliverability or spam flags don't affect your main domain. This setup allows you to manage the sender reputation of your cold emails activities independently, preventing any negative impact on your primary communications. When creating a dedicated domain, make sure it has a similar name to your main one so your prospects don't get confused about who's contacting them. It can even be as simple as adding a short word at the beginning like get, try, demo, etc. Two, choose an ESP. Choosing the right email service provider is crucial for your outbound efforts. Providers like Google and Outlook are recommended because they reliably manage large volume of emails, maintaining high sender reputations and robust server infrastructures. This ensures good email deliverability and reducing the risk of messages getting lost. Free. Warm up. Gradually increase the number of emails sent from new inboxes over a period of one to three months to build a solid sender reputation. This practice helps avoid spam filters and ensures better longevity and effectiveness of your cold email campaigns. The most convenient option is warm up, which you can do directly in your cold email tool. And it just so happens that you get free warm up slots in Woodpecker. Thanks to our integration with Mailivery, the process is fully automated and it can carries out the sending between several mailboxes so you don't have to do anything manually. Four, implement email authentication protocols. Adopt SPF, the Kim and DMARC protocols, which authenticate your right to use your domain for email. It helps establish trust with recipient servers, increasing the likelihood that your emails land in inboxes rather than spam folders. We have detailed guides on setting up these records, which you will find here. Five, Stick to sending limits. Limit daily emails up to 50 per inbox to avoid spam filters and protect your sender reputation. Six, monitor deliverability. Track your sending process and deliverability trends. Spot upcoming deliverability issues and nip them in the bud before your sender reputation is damaged. Seven, quality prospects list. Verify your prospects email addresses. Woodpecker will also double check your list before sending them but it's best to come prepared. Remember to monitor your email bounce rates closely as high rates indicate a need to reassess and refine your contact base. Eight, inbox rotation. Using multiple mailboxes to send one campaign helps to maintain high deliverability. In Woodpecker, we have a feature called inbox rotation. When one inbox reaches its sending limits, other stays over, preventing issues with provided limits and ensuring messages reach your prospects. Keep these things in mind when starting with cold email outbound or just when you notice something off with your deliverability. Ask yourself, are you sure everything has been set up correctly? It's a good basis for analyzing if something ever goes wrong. But you can't stop there. There is one other thing you need to ensure you're doing. Implementing a proper copywriting strategy that complements your technical setups. Yes, we have a full video with our best copywriting tips to grab your recipient's attention. Check it out here and meanwhile, thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel.